Hi there. Today I'm going to show you um, how to calculate the odds of winning the Mega Millions Lotto style game that's uh, popular in the USA. And I noticed recently that um, the numbers that uh, can be selected have changed. So in the, uh, the top section uh, there's 70 numbers that you can select from and you must select five five numbers in the top section, five winning numbers to uh, win the first prize. And in the Mega Ball section down the bottom, there's now 25 numbers and you must select uh, one of those numbers to, um, to uh, or match one of those numbers to win the first prize. So what I'm gonna do is um, on this grid, I've got the numbers one to 70 in the top section for the white balls and then one to 25 in the bottom section. And I'm just gonna randomly select five numbers in the top section and this uh, will help you um, understand how the the odds are calculated. I've got five numbers in the top section and I've uh, selected one number in the Mega Balls. And so you're watching the draw and then you've got five numbers in uh, in the top section and and by chance you match the uh, the first number that comes out. And to match that first number, you've got one, two, three, four, you've got five chances in 70, because it doesn't matter what order they come out in. Um, there's 70 balls in the barrel, so you've got five chances in 70 of matching that first number. And then the next, the second ball is drawn out, and you've also selected that ball, but this time, the probability of selecting the second ball, if you've already got one that's uh, already been crossed off on your list and there's now only 69 in the barrel because one's already been drawn, is now one, two, three, four chances and there's only 69 left in the, in the barrel to be drawn. So you've got four chances in 69 of the, um, the second ball being a match. As well and then the third uh, ball comes out and you match the third ball and you've got uh, when the third ball is uh, being drawn you've got three chances one two three chances still of um, of uh, selecting that uh, matching that third ball and now two balls have already been drawn out of the uh, the barrel so you've only got 68 so you've got three chances in 68 of uh, that third ball being a match. And the fourth ball, you match the fourth ball as well, and this time you've only got one, two chances. There's only two um, numbers that aren't marked on your card. So you've got one, two chances, and this time there's only 67 balls left in the barrel because three have already been drawn. And then the last one, you draw the last one, Match the last one, this last one's drawn and you match it, but there's only one chance because you've only got one number left on your card. So you've got one chance and there was four balls have already been drawn. So you've got one chance in 66. And you can see there, that's the, uh, that's the odds for the top section. Five over 70 times four over 69 times three over 68 times two over 67 times one over 66. So let's uh, calculate that out on my trusty calculator. So we'll do the top line first, which is five times four times three times two times one equals 120. So we've got 120. And chances out of, and we'll multiply out the bottom row, 70 times 69 times 68 times 67 times 66. So we've got 120 chances in around about 1.4 billion. So we'll write that number down there exactly. 1 uh, billion 452 million 361 thousand and 680. So that's the odds of um, of getting all five numbers right, um, that's obviously just for one game, all five numbers right in the top section, 120 out of 1.4 billion. And we're gonna simplify that fraction so we've got something that's one, one chance in. 
and if you remember back to your high school maths, then um, we can simplify that fraction by whatever we do to the top, we'll do to the bottom. So if we divide 120 by 120, that will just give us one, one chance. And if we divide the, uh, the 1.4 billion by 120, I'll do that on the calculator now, we'll get a figure of one chance then in just over 12 million. 12,103,014. So that's the, uh, the odds then of getting all five numbers right in the top section. Five out of 70, one chance in 12 million. But to get the, the first prize, you've also got to get the Mega Ball. And there's uh, one chance then, one chance in 25 that we're also going to get the Mega Ball. So we multiply that one in 12 million out by one chance in in 25 for the Mega Ball. And multiply that out so it's one times one is going to be one. And then we've got to multiply the 12,103,014 by 25. So put that in my calculator, multiply by 25. And there we go. The answer is one chance in 302 million. There we go. That is a, um, as a fraction there. So there we go. The uh, chances, this is in just in one game of course, of um, uh, correctly selecting five numbers out of 70 in the top section, one in one mega ball in the mega millions is one chance in 302,575,350. And if you look on the mega millions website, that's the figure that they show there for the odds. Okay, well I hope you've uh, enjoyed this video. I hope you found it um, entertaining and interesting. Thanks for watching. Goodbye for now.